nothing's gonna stop us. That's right. Don't worry, if you by chance have had an MP4 that has been corrupted recently, there is hope. So uh, I'm actually working on a video right now where I'm trying to do some time lapses of some 3D prints. And what happened was my, my little action camera actually got bumped and uh, it fell over and, and basically the battery popped out, you know, in the middle of a very long time lapse. As you can see, these things can sometimes take hours and hours and hours. And what happened was some of my put footage was corrupt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a quick video here showing you in 10 easy steps how you can, uh, you know, recover your corrupt MP4 footage for free. That's right. There are a lot of programs out there that you can use to do such, you know, similar things and they're like $60, $80, $100 and more. So I, I started looking for alternative methods. I didn't find any videos where somebody was actually walking and, and, and taking me along so they could actually make me feel comfortable with it. So I figured, hey, why not make one really quickly? So I'll show you guys what I did to, to recover my MP4. So let's jump right into it. This is the folder that I'm currently using and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys real quickly what we have here. So if I go into my media folder, you can see here's the media folder that I I've taken with all of my action cam and you know for example when I double click a good file it shows you hey you know here's a good file and here's how it looks it's uh, you know finishing off the top of the Eiffel Tower there with the ender nice job but the problem is here's that other file and, and it says it's not playable you know but this file if I click on it it's you know it's a 500 megabyte file almost and and it's telling me there's nothing there no there is definitely something there right we're missing 500 megabytes of a file so uh, what I'm gonna do is I just named it bad as you can see I named the file bad because it is my bad file that I'm having a problem with and this can work for cell phone files it can work for all kinds of different mp4 files out there that have problems of corruption although it does not work for every file still you just want to go ahead and at least try this if you're having some troubles it's very easy do not get uh, weighed down these instructions are very easy so if you need to just watch this video you know two times I promise you it's very simple to do anybody with a Windows 10 computer can do this for sure so these two links right here uh, are both going to take you to the same place. What they do is they're going to download this recover uh, underscore mp4 file. What you're going to want to do is just uh, hold on to that. At the same time, go ahead and go to step two. And download the ffmpeg tool, which is going to give you uh, this zip file right here that you can see above. And I'll go ahead and show you right here. This is the, the web page that you're going to find for the download ffmpeg. And this is where you can get that file right there. I just clicked right there on that button. I took the file that I have above. So, okay, step three. Okay, so for this step, what we're going to do is we're going to actually open up this MPEG folder right here. And we're going to just close out of that. Drag this folder right here onto the desktop. Basically, this is extracting the folder right here. So now we have the folder extracted. And of course, one of the first things you probably want to do is you're going to want to rename this folder. So it's something very, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and rename this folder. Uh, how about MP4 recover? So I named mine MP4 recover. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click and open it. And now that you see I open it, we have the bin folder here, I'm going to double click the bin folder. And right in here are these three files. Just keep those three files where they are. Now we're going to open up recover mp4 over here. This folder has four files in it and we're going to take these four files and we're just going to drag them right here into the bin folder. It's very simple. Just drag it, drop it. All right, we've got all these files here into the bin folder. Perfect. Not a big deal. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to check out number three. It says, all right, what we've done is we've extracted all the files so that they're all in the bin folder. Perfect. They're all in the bin directory. Now it says step four. Copy your good MP4, your reference file, and your bad MP4. So what's it talking about? We want to, we want to put these different files in there. So what we have here is we have all these different files that were taken with the same camera and this is key you have to have at least one other video that is not corrupt that's exactly the same so uh, when i say exactly the same i mean exactly the same like if you were recording in 60 frames per second and then you changed to 30 or if you were doing 4k and then you did 1080 it, it needs to be the same kind of a clip for the same kind of a clip so that it understands its signature so anyway what we're going to do here is i've got the exact same kind of a signature because all these time lapses that i recorded as you can see they were all in the exact same format so what i've done here is i've got a good one as you can see right here, this is what I'm using as my good file. So I've named it good and I've got my bad one, which I named bad that doesn't play at all. When I try to play it, it says it's corrupt. So I take the one that plays, right? The good and the one that's bad that doesn't play. And I'm going to take both of them and I'm going to drop them over here into that bin folder. So just drag, drop. 
Now they're both in that bin folder. Perfect. They're just sitting there. They're chilling. No big deal. What's our next step? Next step is step five. Open search type command CMD without quotes, then right click the command and run it as administrator. Confirm it with yes. In order for us to do that, let's go ahead and check this out. We can open up this over here. You can see I can type in CMD. You actually can't see, but I can get, get command prompt and then you're gonna open it. You're gonna right click it. It's gonna pop up as command pop prompt right click it and hit run as administrator. Once you hit yes, you'll be able to bring it on over. Now, as you can see right here, we have the command prompt open up and it says administrator on top. See, administrator, administrator, make sure it says that. <laughs> I know it's kind of annoying, but uh, if you don't see those things, that's why you're having some problems if you, if you do. Okay, now we're at step six. So what we're gonna wanna do with step six is change the directory inside the command prompt to make sure it's looking at this folder over here. Cause we want it to look at this folder right here. Pretty simple, right? Right now it's looking at system 32. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna right click the bin. I'm gonna say copy address as text, right? Copy address as text, right? And then over here, this is in my A, it's in my A. So, you know, for example, if I go over here to search, I can, you know, I can see where, where am I actually at? It's in the A, you know, A desktop MP4 recover slash bin. This is where I'm actually at. So I want to change this to the A directory. So over here, I'm just going to type in A semicolon and watch. It gives me that. It gives me that directory. Okay, so once you get it into the A, you want to make sure to actually hit CD for change directory and then control V your... Uh, your copied address as text. Once you do that, now it's actually got you in the proper piece or in the proper place. Now I can go down here yeah, and I can actually copy this, go right over here and hit control V. All right, right there, we're gonna hit enter and what you're gonna see is uh, it's gonna go ahead and analyze, boom, that whole clip. It's gonna analyze the clip and it's gonna tell you, hey, basically this is, this is what we see in this piece here. Now you gotta use these two commands. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to copy and paste these two commands into another uh, folder or another spot so that you can actually keep, it, keep track of it. I'm gonna go ahead and open up just a new text document real quick and we'll put this right here. Now, I, I know this seems confusing, but stick with it. It's, it's, it's actually pretty simple. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and copy this piece right here and we're gonna paste it down in there and we're also gonna copy this bottom piece right here. And we're gonna say, this is going to get us, oop, this bottom piece right there. And there we go. So now what we're gonna do is this is going to recover our corrupted file. We take that top one that we put first and we're just going to take it in there and we're going to hit Control V and hit Enter. Cannot open file, corrupted file. Oh. That's right, I'm glad I did that. So uh, if you hit that, it says can't open corrupted file. Why not? Because it's not called corrupted file. What did we call it? We called it bad, right? It's called bad. So we need to go right over here and right where it says corrupted file, right in here, we're gonna change this to literally bad.mp4. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and control C, go right into the command prompt, control V, Hit enter and you're gonna see, there it goes. Complete, H264, created, completed, done. Now we need it actually to save it. So for us to save this file, it's 99.983% completed. We're going to go ahead and copy this bottom piece that we got before. Go right back into the command and control V and hit enter. And now you can see it going, 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 going. What do we have? Success, a file's done. We've, we've got the writing and you can see right over here in the folder, recover, and then what's down here before? Result, I've got a result and it's, it's 500, what, 491, it's the same size. If I double click it, it works. I, I have Batman, I, ha I have Batman being 3D printed, yes! Those hours are no longer wasted and my file has been recovered. So I know that that seems somewhat confusing, but uh, it's actually pretty simple and pretty quick to do and it's free and you can do it for large file sizes. Keep in mind this file size is 500 megabytes and it happens pretty quick. If you have very, very large files and a slower computer, it can take quite a bit of time to do this, but the process works. And as you can see right here, this is my recovered file uh, and, and there he is. 
It's basically creating uh, a 3D printed Batman here on this little tiny Ender 2 pr printer. And what's cool is, like I said, this, this file right up here, 503296, if you double click that, boom, this file is not playable. It's corrupt. It never got to finish because the battery was taken out. But here we have the results and it works. So I really hope this video helped you guys in some way, shape, or form and keeps you from having to pull your hair out. Your projects can be saved. And if you need to go back and look at the steps, I'm going to put everything in the description so you can find out for yourself how to do this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.